Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into my channel. My name is Vail Dog, and this is my kitchen. Today, on the chopping block, we're going to have something very good for you today. And you're going to enjoy this. If you don't, you better comment and let me know that you didn't like it. Let me give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. But please comment. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll be trying to put up new recipes every other day. Okay? So let's jump right into it. What we're going to be making today is a Hungarian American style goulash. Okay? On YouTube 2019. Let's get cooking. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm gonna go. So I'm going to jump right into the meat. I got some ground chuck right here. 80-20. That's like three pounds of that. I have some diced tomatoes. Okay? Those is um... 14 ounce or 15 ounce cans or whatever. I have two of those. Alright. I have some crushed crushed tomato sauce. Okay. It's like, yeah, that's what it is. So I have some Hungarian paprika. I have some fine sea salt. I have some chili powder. I have some black pepper. I have some onion powder. I have some basil. And I have some soy sauce. And some Worcestershire sauce. I have four cloves of garlic that we're going to be chopping up. And I have some fresh bay leaf that we're going to put in there in the sauce. Over here we have green bell pepper, or orange bell pepper. We have an onion. I just put that up there. If you guys want to use it, you can use it. I'm not going to use this because a lot of people in my family don't like onions. So that's why I'm using the onion powder. Okay? So, and then I have some celery, two sticks of celery. And I also I have a red bell pepper that I'm going to be chopping up as well. Then I have some elbow macaroni. Then I have some beef broth and we're going to top that off with some mozzarella cheese and we're going to top it off with some mild cheddar cheese okay so we're going to go ahead and get started on this and uh, I'll be back in a minute okay guys I'm back we're going to go ahead and get started on these right here these are uh, garlic cloves I'm going to get started on these real quick. And just pop them just like so. You may lose one or two. It may be like two in one. So we just get rid of some of this excess stuff. The skin. I'm heavy handed so I'll try not to break them up too bad. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and pop it like so. Just like that. Put that to the side. We don't want no skin or nothing on our in our stuff, in our sauce. I'm telling you, you guys are gonna love this recipe. It's gonna be one of the best recipes on YouTube. Did a little research on it, see how everybody make theirs, and I'm gonna keep it real with you. I never made goulash like this before, so I didn't know it was a lot of different ingredients that go in goulash. But now that I do, I will be making it often. I'm a spaghetti man. Everybody loves my spaghetti for some odd reason. <laughs> they said it tastes real good, so I don't know. I mean, I had it so many times, so. I so you just want to slice it, keep your fingers out the way. Just rough chopping it. That's all you're doing. You don't want to cut it up too fine or nothing like that. Now I also have the garlic uh, powder. I want some fresh garlic in it. I was going to go with the red wine. 
decided not to go with the red wine this time. I may try it another time. And if it tastes good, I'll let you guys know about it. Or I may even do a video on it. Yeah, we're just going to rough chop this up. Guys, ever want to see me cutting up anything? Comment, and I will do so. I normally don't show everybody like this. I already have it chopped up or whatever. It's fine right there. It's like four cloves, minus a little piece that I had dropped on the floor. Like I said, it was like a couple of them in, in one. And please, I'm going to tell you this, please wash your vegetables. Don't just go get them out the store and start chopping. Wash them off. I use dishwashing liquid and cold water and wash them thoroughly. Okay, because you don't want any of that stuff in your stuff, okay? I'm going to just push this to the side. Get started on something else, like the celery. Okay, you can cut this part off right here. You can go down the middle of it. If you choose to. You may do one of them like that. Take our bell pepper. For those that are tuning in, show you an easier way how to do it. So you got all them seeds. Some people just cut the top off. I don't do all that. I just go ahead and take two fingers in there like this. Just pull it just like that. Take all that red meat out of there. See? Got a little piece in there. That's it. And I ain't got to worry about chopping up the sides and um, the top and all this stuff. So I just go down the side like this. Now this goulash. Now I want little thicker pieces in there. So take this part. So you got it curled up like this over here. Just take your knife and go like this. See that? Another curling piece. And I'm not going to saute. You can saute these if we want to. I'm just going to do um, do my um, my meat. And then just throw them in with my meat. And let them cook together. Okay, I'm only doing half of that. Bell pepper. Half of each of them. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and start on these, and uh, I'll take you over there to the meat. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Okay, I just uh, pushed sauteed on this um, <laughs> power cooker plus. Okay, so I just pushed sauteed on it, and I'm trying to sear my meat, okay? That's all I'm trying to do is trying to get my ground beef going. 
So I'm just going to break it up like so. So remember it's three pounds. I'm breaking it up so it won't be hard to break up when it starts frying. I want those big old, big old pieces in there. I want some thick pieces, don't get me wrong. But I want those big pieces. Okay. Excuse me again. My phone is ringing. I'm going to go ahead and answer that and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. There wasn't nobody on the phone. I don't you hate when people call you and they don't want nothing? So I'm stirring this meat up. They need a, a mitt or something. So I won't burn my knuckles. Just to keep that pot from moving around. So yeah, just stir this up. that then I'll go in here with some of these seasoning all right I'm gonna take some black pepper sprinkle a little bit at a time because I want to coat it all over there evenly and I'm gonna stir that incorporate that in there okay All right, got some fine sea salt. That, by the way, that was a teaspoon of the black pepper and this a teaspoon of the fine sea salt. Okay, that's that. Stir that up. I don't keep stirring because I don't want them to be uh, super thin. I want some thick pieces. Okay. So, we got some um, oregano, I mean no, not oregano, this is basil, so that's a tablespoon of basil, could put all this in there at one time. I have two tablespoons of onion powder, I like more flavor than salt, so, okay, so. That's it on that. I have a teaspoon of um, chili powder. That. And I have some Hungarian paprika. I'm going to put that in there. That's a tablespoon. Pull the side down a little bit. Toss this around a little bit. Okay. It's starting to turn brown up in there. So now I want to go ahead and put my vegetables in there. I'm going to start off with my garlic. I left that on the board. So I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle that in there. I told you I don't want to keep stirring and breaking up my meat. The more you stir, the more it's going to break up. So, if you like fine, fine meat like that in your pasta dishes, keep stirring. Okay. All right, just the last of that. Then I'm going with my vegetables. I use half of each one of them bell peppers and two sticks of celery. You guys seen that, so. Mm 
And I'm gonna just mix that in. So they can get happy. And start putting a lot of flavor in that meat. Okay. That look good. We're gonna just leave that alone because I don't want to stand. I'm gonna let it brown up and saute it a little bit more. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now I didn't put lock this on there. I just set it on there, okay? So don't lock yours on there. If you if you you can do this in a regular pot too, I ain't tell you that. Okay, I'm just putting it in the crock pot. I said crock pot. I'm tripping. Um, putting it in a in a pressure cooker. So we're gonna go in with our tomatoes, our nice tomatoes, just like that. Get rid of this can. You guys see that? Let me see if I can tilt this down a little bit more. Okay. I think that's good enough. Alright. Then we got some crushed tomatoes that I'm going to use. Okay. Put that in there. Now, I'm going to put. I ain't going to put nothing in there. I'm going to go ahead and put this beef broth in there. Matter of fact, I'm not going to put that in there yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to go ahead and get this to cooking. Stir this up. Looking pretty good, guys. Looking pretty good. What you think? Okay. Let me get that taste. Oh yeah. Oh heck yeah, I ain't even done putting ingredients in that. That tastes pretty good. Let me wash this spoon off. Woo! That's real good. I'm gonna make this awesome. So, we're gonna go ahead and pour our macaroni in there. Putting all that up in there. Stir that. All right. Now the beef broth is gonna go in there next, along with some more ingredients. So you gotta put that broth in there because it's gonna burn if you don't. So you put this whole thing of beef broth in there. Two pounds. Let's see how that looks first. I'm stir that up. See how they look there. They're looking good. Looking good. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna put all of it in there. The macaroni have to cook. It got to get tender. And here we go with another phone call. Right in the midst. Hello. Yeah, someone called me. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. So, how did someone call me from that same number, but you haven't called anyone? Really? Now, guys, this stuff tastes so good. Woo! I don't know how to taste it with the, uh, the broth in it, but I'm, I'm quite sure it's going to taste good. Okay, this was two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Two tablespoons now. And we have a tablespoon of uh, um, soy sauce. Okay. Put that in the mix. Alright. Taste that. 
Oh yeah. That tastes amazing. I can't wait to taste this when it gets done. I'm going to got three bay leaf that I'm going to put in there. Okay. Wash the spoon off again. Oh man. It tastes good. Make me want to eat this. Like right now. Push it down just a little bit. Submerge it. Alright. All smokes want to put some of that red wine in there. But I'm not going to do it. Alright, we're going to put the lid on that and let that cook for about 10 minutes then we'll see how it, how that tastes, how it looks or rather. Okay, my thing beeping again. Let me take it off a of saute. Take that off. Go to uh, the meats. So we're going to put, uh, we'll check it. It's on 40 right now. We'll see how it looks in about 30 though. Okay? And I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. I just discovered that I had some fresh basil. I'm going to throw some of that in there. Okay? Just like three leaves of fresh basil. We're going to stir this. We in a um, pressure cooker. So I don't want everything standing in one spot. Looking good, looking good. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cover this back up. Okay. And we'll go ahead and start this. I got it on. I found the setting for it, so I'm putting it on stew. I'm gonna put it on there for like 10 minutes and see what that do. Because I, I remember I'm in a pressure cooker, so it cooks everything faster. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Take this off. I let this rest. Okay, but I cooked it. I let it boil. Got to came up to a boil about good five minutes then I put it on the low setting which is slow cook on here now I'm just going ahead and let this rest for about good 15 minutes let these noodles submerge in here and blow up they're blowing up already see see how thick that is Pretty thick. See if I can show it to you a little bit closer. Alright. So we're just going to let that sit. And I'm going to go ahead and start on my little garlic bread that I'm going to have to the side with it. And I'll be back. Put this stuff together. Alright. Okay guys, I'm back. This is the dish. I'm done with it. This is a... Uh, American style Hungarian goulash on YouTube 2019 and don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel where I'll be making restaurant quality foods or better from my home to yours let's get cooking